now we will be looking at another very important in fact one of my most favorite if if not the most favorite uh, performance management tool i think it's quite effective um it's potus five forces so let's have a quick look uh, you do have uh, i'm sure you've encountered potus five forces uh, in your studies and this is essentially uh, the five uh, different areas that potus identified as the most important and critical when you want to analyze industry forces particular to your market so if you're in uh, automobile then you're looking at your own industry right so this is a little more micro it's not macro like pest but it's more focused in into your industry whatever your industry is and what you do is you look at each of these five forces you call them forces you call them factors whatever areas scope uh, whatever uh, what you do is you identify in under each of those forces you see uh, how strong is that force against you so the five forces by and itself are competitive rivalry or competition a uh, threat from potential entrants threat from substitute buyers bargaining power and supplier bargaining power now in terms of deciding how strong the force is it's not really uh, you know, rocket science uh, because there are when you when you identify a particular force there are ways of determining uh, the strength of that force so for example if you look at something like competitive rivalry what you can do is you can look at factors such as market share market growth and market capacity so if you for instance if you see that uh, your company uh, compared to your market share there is another company company y which has a massive market share and they've consistently shown excellent growth then you are looking at a very strong competitor against you and in such a case you are basically determining that uh, competitive rivalry is high quite high um you could be you know in a industry you could be a really stagnant player stagnant player and uh, there could be a situation where a new entrant very powerful like maybe backed by uh, someone like adani or you know tata or elon musk uh, who is entering your industry right so in that case if you look at something like a threat from potential new entrants uh, you're looking at brand value customer loyalty uh, recognition a uh, percentage of revenue protected by patents etc but what you're looking at is how how exactly or what is the positioning of this new entrant uh, it's a strong player let's say someone like jeff bezos is backing it up and it's under the amazon umbrella so you're looking at a really strong player you know that they for at least 5 years they are ready to lose money if um, if that's what it takes uh, for them to uh, acquire market share and that means that the threat from the new entrant is quite high right it's so it's a fair assessment but what you need to be careful is that uh, it it requires judgment so that's where you need to be careful and uh, the factors that help you to determine the strength of the force under each of this like the examples that have uh, been given here uh, they can the, the examples here it's not an exhaustive list that's all what i want to say right it depends on your situation it depends on the circumstance in the apm exam if you get a situation where five forces are being looked at not all the forces will be looked at what will happen is that either one of these you know they'll put you in a situation where one of these forces is in play and you'll have to really come up with a strategy against it uh, determine how strong what kind of influence uh, this will exert uh, on our sales that sort of thing so you you would be analyzing and evaluating the impact of one maximum two force uh which means that you will have to be able to uh, really uh, look at a particular force and uh, see what the examiner is sharing about it in terms of information and use that information to determine how strong the force is operating against you whether it's weak whether it's strong and depending on that strategize your response you know how exactly are you going to tackle this that is the kind of skill that is required uh in the context of performance management uh, when you conduct a five forces assessment you have by and in itself you're looking at uh, things like how do you measure the strength of the force because it's good if you can quantify but it's not necessary and it's also not easy uh, how reliable uh, whatever metrics you're using are because i mean if your if your measurements are wrong and if you're making that means that your assessment will be wrong you might determine that 
a strong force is weak because you measured the wrong thing. You didn't take them seriously when you should have. So you can't let that happen. Uh, how to manage the forces identified and suitable performance indicators and targets to monitor the forces. So KPIs, uh, performance measurements and uh, mechanisms to keep reviewing and monitoring them. Um, there's an example. So that is how uh, Portus 5 forces essentially gets used. Uh, it's a good exercise for you to try just, uh, you know, come up with any company, right? Just think that you're in that company. Think that you're, you're working for General Motors and uh, analyze your industry around you. Analyze the industry where Toyota and Ford and uh, uh, Tesla uh, and, and Porsche and, you know, uh, uh, VW and all these companies exist. So think about that industry and think that you're, you're General Motors. And in such a case, Try to analyze in your from your perspective how's competition is it high, how's the threat of bargain how's the threat of new entrants how's the threat of substitutes are there really substitutes now I hear that Apple and and uh, Apple is also developing a car uh, AI systems are being developed uh, self driving methods are improving etc etc so how exactly do you see that as a substitute for for your products electric vehicles are in, increasing. Uh, look at the supplier bargaining power and the customer bargaining power. Can they really bargain with you? Or is the price point that you determine is what gets uh, sold at? So how, how much power do you have in respect to, to your suppliers and your cust customers? So when you think like that, you will uh, slowly start to be able to cultivate that uh, skill of determining uh, and, and judging uh, intuitively and automatically, uh, sensibly. Uh, of how exactly uh, this uh, works and how to use Portus 5 forces as a uh, effective tool. I, as I said, it's one of my favorites because I've used it a lot and uh, it's it's a good way of thinking. Uh, it it really helps you identify because we don't really do macro work, right? Uh, macro is macro. Macro is uncontrollable most of the time. But industry, whenever we are launching a business or whenever you know we do analysis work. Uh, we look at the industry very closely. We look at other competitors, especially. We look at the supply chain. When we do that, you cannot really move forward with your uh, analysis. And just as the other tools, it helps you identify critical success factors. It helps you develop KPIs, etc. So all that uh, can be done using Portus 5 forces as well, especially from an industry angle. Uh, so it is, it is quite effective in all these fronts. Good luck, and I'll see you in a different video.